So Andrew, we, we've spoken a lot up to now about um, EBI, about and again about the genetic indexes, um, liters, fat, protein, kills, milk, solids, maintenance, weight, all those things. One thing we didn't mention is is about linear traits and the importance of them. Um, how important are they, and, and what's your approach in the context of the advice that you would be giving? Yeah, I look, I, I think uh, heart sizes are after increasing. Um, more pressure on the on the farmer, uh, on the, the labourer, um, and on the system. And it's very important there. With big numbers there, you need good legs and feet. Mm. Um, you now this is a fine cow, but she's she's leaning very well back in her in her feet. And you know maybe would that animal survive in long distances there? You can see the way she's really falling back. Um, and those traits are very important as well as. Um, you know, moving back and forth from, from, from one end of the farm to the other, um, you know, you just wonder, you know, how, how long would that animal survive? Uh, and poor legs and feet, he's not going to, you know, you're going to have poor productivity there because you're going to have cows that are going to be breaking down. Mm. And look, I suppose another thing I'd be passionate about is, you know, is the, is the, is the other traits, you know, teeth placement, other support, you know, you, you need those traits are, are hugely important. And, you know, I, I, maybe I would like if there were maybe something that could be done in DBI that might kind of add, you know, like for argument's sake, uh, the United States has this thing called TPI, Type Production Index. Mm. So mm. the type is actually built into their index. Okay. And in Canada, then they have LPI, which is Lifetime Production Index. Yes. And, you know, the legs and feet, and the memory traits there, you know, determine how long an animal stays in the herd, you know, outside the, you know, the likes of... I know there is a trait in called the health trait in the EBI, and those traits can be seen in the EBI leaner uh, when you look into it, but, you know, um, to be nice, maybe if they're just a little bit more transparent, but they're, they're huge factors. I, 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 I wouldn't use a top bull if he fell short with poor legs and poor others. Okay. I'd go down the list a little bit there and find a more correct bull. Okay. Now, and and you ha sometimes you, might, you have to sacrifice. There's another thing as a perfect bull. Mm. So you have to sacrifice somewhere. Mm. But I, I would sacrifice, you know, efficiency there, uh, you know, just to get that bull, you know, that will give you better legs and feet and improved others, yeah. you know. I think okay. it's, you know, it's nice to milk a good cow. Um, and I suppose there, there is an increase in the amount of robot herds in the country. So other formation, teeth placement is obviously key for it's that. It's hugely as well. important. Okay, and okay. Look, you know, the, 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 you know, the, the difference between milking a good animal there is just bull choice, like. Okay. You know, it's that simple. Okay. Uh, you know, and, and um, you know, you could have very high EBI uh, proven, obviously, because the genomics, you don't know what you're getting, unfortunately, until, until they milk on the ground. Uh, but with, uh, with data proven there, you know, the, the leaner traits are in there, but a lot of farmers don't, don't take any notice. Don't take any notice or don't give the time to, okay. to analyse them. Like. Okay, good, good, good.